Heavenly Father, we thank you for another day of living. We thank you for giving us an opportunity to make a significant difference in the quality of education for students who attend the Mobile County Public School System. Give us the wisdom to work on one accord so we can really make a significant difference and help all of our students. We pray for all the people who are affected by the COVID virus and the impact it's had on us economically and socially. But more importantly, you said that you would never leave us or forsake us, and we need you now in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Something. This is Fred. This is Sir Richard. This uh, board meeting on June the 25th, 2020 will come to order. Since we've already had the prayer and the pledge, we will move forward with the board meeting. Mr. Superintendent, oh, excuse me. Uh, do I have approval of the minutes? So moved. A motion and a, a, to, uh, and a second to approve the minutes. Uh, all in favor, say aye. 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 Okay, do I hear a motion for agenda adoption? So moved. Second. Can we have a motion to adopt the agenda and a second? Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Uh, Mr. Superintendent, I'll start with you. Any announcements, sir? Uh, other than we uh, um, I think you received some information about whole board training. Uh, I think what they did was they waived this past year of whole board training, so we will not uh, have to do whole board training that was supposed to end June 30th. Um, but I would like to go ahead, uh, because we get a 10% discount if we go ahead and have the whole board training in the first quarter. Uh, so I would like to go ahead in uh, Ju July to go ahead and have our um, whole board training to get it over with, uh, because there's some, um, because there's some flexibility of what we can um, have our training on, I wanna take advantage of it and go ahead and get some information out. So uh, we will be scheduling that pretty soon. Uh, and I'll get with Sharon to make sure we get some dates that is good with everybody. So we'll make sure we have 100% participation. Um, we probably will uh, because it's personnel season. And uh, so we will uh, may have some special call board meetings. So I just want to make you aware of those. Uh, our next schedule uh, work session is July the 22nd, I believe, and our board meeting is the 27th. And I know we've been combining them, um, but we may keep those, start back going separate um, so we may can get some things done on the work session date as well as the uh, board meeting date. Well, obviously, so, the sooner we can get uh, personnel issues, the better it is. Right, right. So I just wanted to make you aware of that. Yeah, try to schedule them at the same same time. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Hag, do you feel like that most of those are going to go forward? Several of them are, yes, sir. We have, we're always trying to resolve them. Um, and actually, in, in, in July, there's a couple of Tuesdays as well. I try to do transfer hearings on Tuesdays and regular hearings on Wednesday. So the first one is, I think, the 7th, and then we have one on the 8th as well. Those two will definitely go. Okay. I mean, I'm disappointed because I would love to see y'all just every day of the week. We could have a meeting. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. What you I would love to have y'all come every day for a meeting. So we get paid for a meeting? Uh, no. <laughs> I think that's what they, you know, they got together over there in front, front clear. <laughs> Speaking of Dr. Mackey. Um, I, I, and who's our state superintendent, I do want you all to keep him in your prayers. Uh, he's under a lot of pressure as far as the reopening of school. Um, you know, there's not very many options. Either we come back to school or we don't, or we, we give choices. Um, but there's a lot of political pressure, um, and he's under a lot of stress. So I do want you all to keep him in your prayers uh, because 
to be honest with you, we all in a no-win situation. So I just want you to make sure that you keep now, him I might in your prayers. Superintendent, I, and I, probably everybody else has done it, but uh, AASB with Sally Smith had a uh, podcast with him on, and I listened to it like that, and he was talking basically in general terms about some of the options that we may have or may not have and so forth. But if they haven't seen it, it might be worth it. A while to see it. Right. So he's um, he's scheduled to have a press conference with Dr. Harris on tomorrow at 10 o'clock to give um, an overview of the reopening of school. But uh, as I spoke to him this morning, um, it changes daily. So it has changed since we've even heard it. So um, so it's going to be a challenge. So just make sure you keep them in your prayers. Uh, on a kind of other note. Um, you look very distinguished with your glasses on. Thank you. Mr. My wife uh, made me go and get glasses because I couldn't <laughs> see. But I'm, I'm, I'm still having trouble seeing because as I'm speaking, I don't know if my breath is hot or what, but my, my glasses are <laughs> fogging up, so I can't really see as I'm reading. So, so. <laughs> That's what the psychologists define as fixation. <laughs> when you get to a point and you just stop. <laughs> But that's all I have. Okay, Mr. Uh, Battles, any announcements, sir? Uh, nothing. I just wanted to uh, uh, continue to wish everybody well. And uh, I, I had had an MRI the other day. Probably going to have to have some more surgery on this old bad back. So mm -hmm. it's just old man. I asked the doctor, I said, well, Doctor, why do you think all this happening? He said, Mr. Battle, this natural wear and tear. <laughs> Mr. Harwell? No, sir. Okay. Dr. Crenshaw. Nothing. <laughs> Dr. Foster. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. At all. At, at all like that. Okay. But we'll move ahead here with uh, uh, any, obviously, any reports or recognitions. Okay. Good. Any citizens request? Uh, no. We, yeah, we're going to. We're going to do her really, really quick. Right well, now. we're going to do uh, the state examiner with the reports and recognition. So we'll do her okay. now. Yeah. All right, ma'am, if you'd like to come forward now. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, I'm here today to present your audit report for fiscal year 2019. State law does require us to present the audit findings at a public meeting after the release of the audit report. We perform our audits in accordance with government auditing standards. We make a determination as to whether or not your financial statements are materially correct. We also test for state and local legal compliance. We have issued an unmodified opinion for the board, which means the financial statements are materially correct, and we have no audit findings to present at this time. That's it. Where did you have to come from? <laughs> <laughs> Just um, Government Plaza, not far. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> not far. I didn't mean. I didn't mean. <laughs> And I live in Spanish Fort, so That's I'm close. Right. Well, thank you, ma'am. We thank you all. I appreciate it. We appreciate it very Have much. Have a good day. Thank you. Ms. Chan, I thank you for being Laura and her staff. I agree. Those individuals for making sure that we have uh, no findings. It's just a shame it's not tied to the rates. All right. They do a great job. They do a great job. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I, I agree with uh, Dr. Crenshaw. I just have one dissent on that. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> Okay, Mr. Superintendent, we'll pass G1 since the, uh, the examiner has given a presentation. We'll go to G2, please, sir. All righty. G2 is uh, the fund balance resolution uh, to provide uh, action steps to get to our one month reserve. Uh, there's no funding source. Uh, so I ask that you approve action item G2 for the fund balance resolution. Mr. Chairman. Dr. Crenshaw? Uh, in as much as we've vetted all these items, uh, 1 through 23, I'd like to offer most of approved action item 2 through 23 at this time. Second. Okay, we have a motion to approve action items G2 through 23, and we have a second. Any further discussion? 
All right, no further discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. Okay, on to the consent uh, H1 for parchment for Alma Bryant High School is to provide uh, and request of unlimited credentialing uh, for those students coming out of local funds for $3,400. Dr. Foster. Move approval of the uh, consent agenda numbers one through uh, 19. Second. Second. All right. Second. We have a motion to approve the consent agenda items H1 through 19, and we've had a second. Any further discussion? No discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. Okay. Student expulsions. Student ex expulsions is <clears throat> listed on the separate cover, one through 25. Do I hear a motion? Motion Okay, I have a motion to approve. Do I second. A second. A second. Do we have a second. We have a motion to approve student expulsions, one through 25. And we've had a second. Any further discussion? All right, all in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. Okay, we have our information here monthly financial statement and purchase orders, and you gentlemen can look at that. Mr. Attorney, do we have any business in terms of? Okay, very good. And we're under scheduling of meetings, Mr. Superintendent, you mentioned that we may start having more briefer meetings and getting back to our normal. So I assume that you will have Ms. Abrams inform us after you make that decision like that. Yes, we, we, <clears throat> we have to, um, I'm gonna wait until we have enough to actually meet on right. right. And I do like Dr. Foster's suggestion that in July, uh, if we can combine some of those, since it looks like we're going to be here for some of those, that would be a okay. good thing to do like that. Okay? So, so Mr. Chairman, Ms. Abrams, once you get those other dates, you revise this July calendar? Okay. Very good. That's my Thank guideline. You. Okay. Um, do I hear a motion for so uh, move. adjournment? Second. I have a motion to adjourn. Boy, I'm behind the time. <laughs> and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. We're adjourned. <laughs>